Hey guys, Major41 here, and now we'll be continuing the campaign. So last time we did Zero Hour. Now, like the last time, in every video I'm going to suggest, you want to skip straight to the mission, go to the annotation. You want to see what armory upgrades and research I get, please keep watching past the cutscenes and such. You guys now have an important decision to make. I said I was going to do Doom 3 and Age of Mythology expansion. I'm also doing Doom 1 and Doom 2. What you guys need to decide is that I'm going to link two images. I'm going to decide if you want me to use Risen 3D, which is like that 3D like pistol that looks like a Beretta, or you want me to just use the classic GZ, like regular Doom using the GC Doom engine. So, um, please tell me in the comments, I actually might not do the images at all, but you can just look them up in Google Images themselves. Just please tell me which one you want. So, again, here's the cutscene when they're escaping from Marsara, so just please watch it again. Unless you want to skip, in that case, go to the... straight to the mission, go straight to the annotation. Maybe in the future I'll provide annotations for skipping cutscenes, but I'm not going to do that now. So, once again, this cutscene from the previous video. Jimmy, you've been holding out on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Tiger Snows wants to Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all Outer Rim clouds. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Tyx's first look at what they can do. Mother and Mercy. Exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. We always knew she'd be back, but what's she after? She's come to finish the job. I've never gotten those white rectangles in her behind his eyes. I always wonder what they meant. Anyways, I think they're referring to the Brood War, which I have never played before, so... I th that's what I think they're referring to. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Naturally, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I guess. Is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as mine. Believe me, if Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. So, yeah, that's apparently back in their very old outlaw days of Jim Reno. So this is the bridge. This is where we access our missions at the star map. And if we want to play previous missions, we go to the archives, which is good if you want to get every achievement, every research on an easier difficulty, you know. So here is Stepman. He'll be the lab's researcher. You don't really communicate with him a lot, but we haven't got the lab or the canteen open just yet. So, of course, the tips. In the armory, which we can now visit. Visit. Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerg are attacking all over the sector, sir. The Manx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. 
It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows he over. He doesn't know him. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Hmm. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. Horner is more of an idealist. He doesn't see the truth of the world, I guess you could say. So he isn't exactly my favorite character. Um, yeah, he's got a very opinionated view. You know, he always thinks he's right, yada, yada, yada. In this case, he is. In future cases, he's not exactly right. So, anyway, um, Tychus now. One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Meng's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted <laughs> company with him. This old baby seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what, you bust the zipper or something? <laughs> okay. So I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. And who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? The Mobius boys, of course. Yeah, they <laughs> just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts up So much for a patriot of the science. Debts yeah, better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. Right, so now we can finally head down to the armory where we get our first look at our armory technician Swan. Who's got a metal arm of well metal left arm. Hey everybody, our and glorious that's a leader. Habit of calling Rain a cowboy. Hey man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standard forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for the tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? <laughs> Look, I know money's been tight, but that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. <laughs> it's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. <laughs> so, Swan. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. So, usually every time we start a mission, we get a new unit. Um, so, armor console. We can upgrade up to three things. The bunkers, which I believe that was Origin in the background. Um, they get an extra range, or they can get two additional slots. You can get both, but not they're not important right now, so we're going to ignore them. Medics. Medics no longer require a tech lab on. Do not purchase this upgrade. The reasoning behind is in the future. The last research upgrade when you go down a Protoss tree is a tech reactor. It combines a reactor and a tech lab. So it'll, you'll virtually have no need for that, and it's a waste of credits. You could have saved. You can get that upgrade in the future. They heal 25% faster and they use less energy, but depending on your situation, if you like to build infantry a lot. Combat shield. These two are a must in this campaign. I'm letting you know that now. However, we're going with stim pack first because of the bonuses it gives. So just that. I mean, 10 life is um pretty good, but yeah. So yeah, got stat man. Yeah, sir. Any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. Right, so now that we're back on the Hyperion, Herena has more quotes, and these will be his final quotes pretty much. What the hell was I doing? So. Revolution's a little slow today. Home sweet home. That's it. <laughs> Gonna have to start pretending like I'm working. Favorite one right there. I'm getting too damn old for this. I should go for a walk Second outside. One. Oh wait. Standing around talking to my damn self. Time for a bold, unstoppable plan. This old crate needs an overhaul. And that's pretty much it. A little slow today. So we've gone through all of them. That so let's go to the mission star. Now, we, general status now we get two missions to choose from. 
We've picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. So, we're not going to go to Monolith just yet, even though we can unlock the Marauders early. The reasoning behind this is just a pain in the ass to get done with the research. So, Agria. Any ship receiving this transmission? The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. Mainly, Manx is protecting the main walls of the Dominion, the ones closest. Fringe walls are like outside, so. He's just abandoning them instead of, you know, helping them, so. We get the fire bat in this mission. It's pretty much a marauder that's close range, so he's a tank like unit. And, um, yeah, they're pretty damn powerful, so, uh. This is the first mission in the colonist missions. That still continues the storyline. So. Incoming transmission. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen, and I represent the people of the Agria colony. Pleasure to meet you, Doc. You can call me Jim. What's the situation? The Zerg have overwhelmed our planetary defenses. The colony is lost. For the past 12 hours, we've been evacuating people to the nearest starport, but... The Zerg attacks have become so intense, we can't get any more through. If you can guard the highway, we can start sending the remaining groups every few minutes. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get your folks through to that starport safe and sound. I pray you're right, Commander. The Zerg are more terrible than I ever imagined. Alright. The evacuation. Story mode missions are pretty much called artifact missions. Um, I'll mention that later. But first, we've got to. Um, um, let's finish the evacuation first. Great need to know all. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the Titans trying to figure out a strategy, so yeah. Doom three I'll start later. Anyway. So we start with the fire bats and two medics in this mission. Assign them to number two. Say the word. And just look for uh, many minerals. Which I got some fire bats, cowboy. These so at a move. Throwers that'll roast the Zerg, but good. Head up. Our allies are being attacked. Prepare for another Zergling attack. Well done. So downwards. After you get the crate. And there's more here, so burn them. Move the medics a bit so they protect each other. You don't want to lose the medics there in war. Yeah, you're gonna find some interesting information about the fire that's after. Maybe in the next video. Thank goodness so now we get control of the colonists. I'll give you control of the main building so you can help us evacuate the colony. Train as many SCVs as possible. Train about three SCVs, two um, Marines, and get a supply depot stat. We only have 19 supply. Not enough minerals. So, after the supply depot has been built, yes, and you shift click, go up here, and you'll find some more minerals, which you can send a, on another two SCVs. Have the Marine barrack point six for three. We'll need to escort Four, the convoys two, all the way to the main starport three. for them to have a chance of escaping this planet. The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. So yeah, keep training. Now, people will know that there are bunkers here and here. We are immediately going to salvage them. I'm not going for the bunker achievement, especially on Brutal. It is freaking hard. We cannot even let 20 colonists die, and we need to escort five of these. That's more 
it's harder than you think. We also need to get Zerg research by collecting three chrysalis. One is here, one is here, and the final one is here. You'll send a couple of units just to walk straight there, because the units are likely to die anyway, so... Ready. This better be good. But after 10 have been loaded, Don't stop for anything. or 9 in this Let's case, roll. unfortunately, we only get 9, so it's slower. You gonna give me orders? SCV ready. Remember, keep training your CVs, build supply depots when you can. This better be good. Go, a move go, go. ahead and like keep. Don't A move um on this or it'll attack it. Bunkers to defend the roads. So salvage. The Dominion military abandoned them when the Zerg attacked. They didn't give a damn about the colony. Sorry to hear that, Doc. So at least these bunkers are in good spot. I want you stim because that marine will die anyway. Right, so one part cleared. Armed and ready. Let's the minerals. Keep training. By the numbers, boys. In the rear with the gear. Been waiting on you. So this is where Stim's gonna come in handy. Watch. Press T and your Marines attack faster and do more damage at the cost of 10 hull. This is why we need medics to compensate. And a bonus lasts for 15 seconds. See how fast they move? When it's about to end, that red lightning bolt will come up. So salvage the bunker. Immediately. So, collect the first chrysalis. That gives us the first research. Immediately after that's done, treat your units back. But send a couple of marines and a fire bat down here to collect the um, research. So get another two barracks and train another fire bat and a couple of medics. Pretty much that's why I missed the mineral catch there, but we're not going back for it. So that's two chrysalis already. Remember, keep training units. Build a third and another barracks. The star port, How can we be so just have the whole thing. two SCVs building different. I reckon we can use a mobile force to keep it clear. Or build more bunkers to block the approaches. Either so yeah. way should work. Keep Fire building five, supplies, because we're going to need them. Alright, the once you're done, is almost ready to go, Commander. enough SCVs, Please put alert some on the refinery. SCV the doctor is in. Yeah, we're going to be using a mobile force pretty much. So after the second um, escort, we'll go for the final chrysalis. SCB so ready. get this um, barracks with the reactor. Keep training medics on that barracks the is in. and get another reactor. We want to just spam marines and medics, and SCB we don't need more ready. than um, one barracks for the tech lab at the moment. Get to the starport, move it. See, so yeah, we only get nine. At. Oh no, we get 10. So 1, 2, in. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Although I think the 10 comes from the Marine or something. I don't know. It might be glitched or something. Anyway. So let's get training some SCVs. More medics. Armed and ready. The doctor is in. Add on complete. SCV ready. And here come the attacks of so still the Marines. The overlords will spread creeps so the Zerg units can move faster. The convoy's in danger. Hit them, boys. Remember, just um, just keep following the convoy. Don't stim more than twice, in um, otherwise they'll lose more health. Like, so, see how they lost a lot more health. That's just an example why not to do it. So as soon as your units keep training, keep attacking them up to reinforce them. Reinforce our convoy. And this is why I said get a mobile force and not bother defending at the bunkers. Right. So once you're done there, once again, finish them off and then retreat. The colonists are hurt. 
We gotta save him. You want a piece of me, boy? Come to send a few marines to go collect them. Sure. Chris, let's say. Keep training medics and marines. Just stim them and make them run, so that at least one of them get it. And that's all three research for this mission collected. Good job, guys. So make sure the hockey units. So we've pretty much got enough SCVs, we don't really need any more, otherwise um, we'll run out of resources too quickly. Commander, another convoy will be heading out soon. So only three more convoys to go. It gets a lot harder. Not only are there are more units, there are nidus worms, which reinforce the let units move anywhere they want, pretty much. So yeah, marines at um, the reactors and medics at the tech labs. If you want to train a couple more fire bats, go ahead. Additional supply depots required. And don't forget the supply depots. Additional supply depots required. Ah, you scared me. Don't leave without us! You gonna give me orders? So yeah, we've got a massive army now. And the Stim the Marines will do loads. Medic regenerate regen their energy pretty quickly. Go, go, go. The doctor is in. Um, they have kind of an advantage, a side advantage up there. Uh oh. They're attacking the convoy. That's, right. That's too close. It can get destroyed, sure and the civilians will still survive. So you gotta be careful. Surround it by by clicking on it, and then just destroy everything quickly. Bought mules, which are the flying units. Gotten through. Take them down. But only marines can stim in the campaign. In multiplayer, the marauders can also stim. Alright, so we just saved that one. That was yes, close. Sir. Cutting it close. Additional supply depots required. So now we've got 58 units. Stay in the rear. Go ahead. I can't build See? here. Can't build. I can't build here. places. I can't build here. Yeah, we can build on crops, go figure. Additional supply depots required. Armed and ready. That was a close one. In Starcraft, I believe the max cap is 200. We just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Uh means they're going to drop units now, and after the unit drop ones, we have another convoy ready to be escorted, ones. Commander. The doctor is in. Big job, bad news. Oh yeah, I forgot to get the engineering bay. I'm an idiot. <sighs> the engineering bay can actually um provide us with upgrades, and I completely forgot about it. The doctor is in. Well, we've been holding up fine, thanks to our mass and units, but we better get them fast. So we'll get two engineering oh. bays. Yeah, yeah. If yes, you want to build and make another building needing with and cancel the waypoint, just the make it build another in. building, and the waypoint will disappear. Everyone's here. Let's go. We'll do. So for 73 units, you know, we got four of these groups, and it's turning dark. Do, 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 do. The doctor is in. So let's get the weapons upgrade first. You gonna give me orders? And there's the first drop. And they're gonna keep dropping in. 
So make sure you just surround the thing and you should be fine. I hate roaches. Convoy's in danger. Hit him, boys. Mineral field depleted. Let's see, mineral field is starting to deplete now. Of course. Gangway coming through. Get the armor right there from the other one. Yeah, so a simple mission, but quite annoying. Now they've got Banelings to focus by the Banelings or you're going to lose unit. So yeah, I just lost a mass because I failed to click the right unit there. Uh, and that's why you keep training. Oh well, we still got plenty of units, but we just lost quite a bit go, go, there. Go. Which we can now replenish. Shouldn't be too difficult. So, um, yeah, th this is the first of the colonist missions. I won't be doing the rest of the colonist missions until later necessary. Anyway, after this one we should have a new mission, new set of missions, called the Covert Missions, where we help a man called Tosh. Gabriel Tosh, I think his name is. The doctor is in. Sir, I'm picking up seismic disturbances closing in on your position. I think it's some kind of tunneling sir. Nidus worms. Wonderful. It's just like him to keep things nice and interesting. Yep. We're almost done, Commander. So this is the last convoy. Another convoy if we will be starting out it. soon. Let's survive. You want a piece of me, boy? Mineral field depleted. By the numbers, boys. Who wants some? Final. The doctor is in. APC. You want a piece of me, boy? Got 81 units. Upgrade complete. The doctor is in. <laughs> Just have the barracks focus the on waypoint on that. Guess we'll find out. No. On. On you. We'll do. Of course. So look at all that creep being spread now. Thanks to creep troopers and overlords. So now you get your first look at a nidus worm. Well you saw a couple in um zero hour, but they weren't in use, pretty much. Yes, sir. There's a Nidus one. And look what it does. Just spreads out to just a quick survival. Mineral field depleted. Got it. Ouch. Usually people say one medic to every four Marines, but it's your choice. Required. I like to get a bit more. Pound them one. Pretty much as soon as it reaches the area you want. Ah, quick help kind of thing. Make like a screaming sound and just see a big one. Oh, I lost a little bit. And that's it, pretty much. Been waiting on you. So that's it for the evacuation, another preset timed mission, but hey, what can you do about it? <laughs> Can't get the rest of them right now. Guess the APC counts as a person, but we've already got them. That's the last of them. Go! Lift off now! We've lost the colony. Look, all our marines disappeared. Thanks to you, Commander. Oh well. So that's it for the evacuation. 
Lost no colonists, kept all the trucks alive. I salvaged the units, the bar barracks, so. Yeah, sacrifice nothing. Don't lose a structure in hard difficulty and handled with care. Don't lose a support truck. And then the evacuation complete all objectives, which means collecting the research. So here's um, another cutscene, which will also be in the next video. Man, it's hot down here in the land down under. <laughs> Many of you don't know, Great it's job, Australia. Doctor Hanson's so offered to here. stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. <laughs> Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. So, we also have her aboard the Hyperion. Now we also unlock the Cantina, which is where we can purchase mercenaries. It's also a place where a lot of people like to talk. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is going to take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know, the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. <laughs> so anyway, we get our first mercenary contract for free, War Pigs. You get sent four elite marines that have extra health and extra damage. In every mission, you're limited to three squads. And they also have a cool real time. Now, I don't tend to get a lot of mercenaries, but war pigs are a big help, so. Anyway, you'll now find Tychus most of the time in here. You can watch the news, and you can hire any mercenaries. This little mini game called The Lost Viking, I will explain now before I log off actually. There's an achievement to get certain points like bronze, silver, gold. Gold is 500,000. I'll give you a couple of tips now. First thing you want to grab are two plasma cannons. One to switch the gun and two to upgrade it so you can spam it more. It does more damage than the sp uh, spread shot one and you'll see why in a minute. Second thing you must grab are the drones. Drones are essentially free lives. Like instead of you dying, they take the hit. And as long as they're alive and surrounding you, they'll also fire a normal scatter shot. So that'll also help you take down enemies. <laughs> Lol, the eye pistol takes shot at life. And um, after you got two of those drones, that are a maximum of two drones and two plasma cannons, you want to collect bombs. Now every time you kill an enemy, you'll see it start dropping an item. Don't immediately pick it up because it tends to switch. So. You can wait for it to be a bomb, a plasma cannon, etc, etc, etc. If you think you're about to get hit and you don't want to lose a drone, say like on a boss wave or something, you can activate the bomb, and I'll give you a mini shield, temporarily, to stop projectiles and all that. Pretty handy. So, um, bomb or a drone, I'd rather use the bomb. So, um, yeah, those are all the tips for the Lost Viking, guys. And every time you want to just try to get to 500 points, you just keep, go, keep playing, keep going, and you'll... The waves do get harder, but you usually get used to it. It took me about five tries. So until then, guys, later.